Hi, my name's Fran Marshall and you're watching Sport Icons. Right, so following the release of Mark Breland from the Deontay Wilder team, Shirley Finkel, his co-manager, has announced that Deontay Wilder has said that Maddox Scott will take a more prominent role in the Deontay Wilder training camp. Now, Matt Scott, he's been hanging around Deontay Wilder for quite some time. They're very, very good friends, and that's cool. But this is the same Matt Scott who spent the entire fight running away from Luis Ortiz. This is the same guy who got knocked clean out by Derek Chisora. In fact, that was his very first loss. And the very same guy who fought Deontay Wilder, this is before Wilder became champion, where if you look at the replay, it looks like that Matt Scott gave Deontay Wilder a wink then Wilder threw the right hand, hit Matt Scott on the gloves, which didn't ricochet onto his head anywhere, and he went down like he'd been shot in the head. So for all intents purposes, either took a dive or quit. He is taking a more prominent role in the camp of Deontay Wilder. Now, if you guys, as in the Wilder fans, if you guys weren't worried about Wilder taking on Fury in the third fight already, following the sacking or release of Mark Breland, or maybe it turns out Mark Breland quit, who knows. But now Malik Scott is going to take a more prominent role in that camp. If you weren't worried before, I would certainly be worried now. But of course, whether you're an outstanding boxer, whether you've never really boxed before in your life, that doesn't make you an automatic guarantee to be a good coach or a bad coach. So who knows? Maybe Malik Scott is going to turn out to be the next Manny Stewart, okay? You never know, all right? But is he one of the reasons why Mark Breland was released? Because he wanted a promotion himself? We don't know, do we? Of course. I mean, we can't accuse because we don't know. But if I was a Deontay Wilder fan, I'd be very, very concerned. Now, outside of a puncher's chance, Wilder was already up against it anyway. But following the release of Mark Breland, who knows Wilder back to front? And now elevate a Mallet Scott who has a history of what looks like lack of heart. How can you preach to Deontay Wilder, do this and do that, when he himself has had fear in fights? For me personally, I'd be very worried if I was a Deontay Wilder fan, but even with a George Foreman in the corner, a Larry Holmes in the corner, or a Floyd Mayweather in the corner, hell, they could do whatever it is they want to do. But for me, I think Tyson Fury has got his number anyway. But as I said, you can never quite write Deontay Wilder off because of that right hand. And now, this isn't about... I hate on Deontay Wilder, not at all. This is how I truly see it. You got rid of Mark Breland to promote a guy who has a history of running away in fights and for all intents purposes, either quitting against Deontay Wilder or taking a dive. Because that was not a legitimate knockout. I'm telling you, it wasn't. Anyway, drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all in the next video.